Please stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Today is the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Gospel tells us, in today's Gospel, Jesus teaches us that those who count for nothing in the world, the poor, the meek, the pure of heart, the persecuted, are the truly blessed. God chooses to be on their side, and they are most precious ones in his eyes. Do we see blessedness only in terms of richness, power, and being honored? Do we involve ourselves to the service of those who are not blessed? In this Eucharistic celebration, our Mass presider is Reverend Father Antonio Wang, SVD. Please stand as we begin the Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today is already six Sunday on the ordinary time in the Gospel today, Jesus, showing us the way to the kingdom of God. So let us through this Mass, we can ask God to be blessed in His eyes. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. 
to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to be become a dwelling place into you. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the first reading, the prophet Jeremiah teaches us that blessedness lies in relying on the God rather than on human beings, rich and powerful they may be. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the one who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste, a salt and empty earth. 
Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes. Its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no distress, but still bears fruit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's response is, Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruits in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. In the second reading, the Apostle Paul reminds us that if our hopes are limited to this life and what it offers us, then we are to be pitied indeed. But we place our hope in the risen Lord who prepares for us eternal life. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how come some of you say that there's no resurrection of the dead? If the dead are not raised, neither Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hope in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you O Lord. Lord. Jesus came down with the twelve and stood on a stretch of level ground with a great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people 
from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Ty and Sidon, and raising his eyes toward his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they ex exclude and insult you, and denounce you name as evil, on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treat, treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Uh, the Gospel, two sides, is a blessing and a woe. Uh, from the first reading, we already heard uh, from the prophet Jeremiah, say, Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. Also, the responsory psalm also, Blessed the man. Uh, blessed are they who hope in the Lord. We all want to be uh, blessed. In the gospel, Jesus mentioned some, those they were be blessed the poor and also those hungry then weeping and also they were hated by the people we see we want the blessing from God but those things we we don't want or we don't want to be poor we don't want to be hungry we don't want to be hated by the people we don't want to be weeping so it looks like totally different or in God's eyes or we want to be rich, we want to be powerful, or we want laughing, we want smile. Why Jesus saying those things to us? The blessing we want is we are be happy, we will be happy. Or not say weeping, not the hungry, or be poor. We say we, we believe God, we, we trust God. Many times we are focused the things in the world. We see the, the rich or we see the powerful or laughing in the world. Or we are focusing the things in the world. But how about in God's eyes? How we are practicing in our daily life. We see the blessing, we say blessing we always want to be, we want the blessing from from our parents from the elderly from the others so we want blessing blessing the blessing from god but here jesus mentioned the blessing looks like we are not so happy to with those that is also i think in the first reading so jeremiah also how we trust the god if we only rely about the things in the world Many times we'll focus the things in the world. We might be also a little not focus the kingdom of God. But if we focus the kingdom of God, maybe all the things in the world, we say even good or bad. I will say it's a, a things God give us those, so those things to prepare ourselves for the kingdom of God. We say it's and trace of Jesus. The things God give us, everything's good. Even sometimes we say the pain, just like in the gospel, see, the hungry, the poor, the weeping. But the important is how we throw those things to be close to God. My good God, she's always, even the little things, she's, she's doing for the repent of the sinners. So all the things God gives us, we say, good or bad. 
I will say it's a gift, but important is with the trust of God. In the second reading also, St. Paul through the letter to the Corinthians also, if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. So if Christ is not raised from the dead, what we believe, we have no faith if he's no God. So maybe if we are focused and we say the blessings in the world is like in the second part of the gospel, Jesus said, woe to those people. But we believe in God. We have faith to God. We know God is a final decision. We many times focus the things in the human being's sight. How about in God's sight? What is really God wants us to do? It's want us to be poor, be hungry, weeping, or be hated. Of course, be because of Jesus, like many martyrs. Because of Jesus, because they're of their faith, they will be hated. But they know what they are doing. They know what they are seeking. The kingdom of God. So I think we can through the readings, the gospel, we can a little reflect ourselves. The blessings we want, it's really from the world or from the kingdom of God. We see from God a real blessing. We see we, we want the kingdom of God. Oh, we don't want to pass by the death. We don't want to pass by the difficult life. But if it's good for us, for the kingdom of God, we see what is more important. Every day we are making many decisions. Oh, what is better for my family? What is good for my, my life or for my whole family? We are making the decision comparing the eternal life, the life in the world. How long we can stay in this world? 80 years, 90 years, 100 years. But if we can throw these years, even it's a little difficult, even it's a little problem, but for the eternal life, the kingdom of God, we can throw this life to prepare ourselves. So I hope we can really can open our mind, really can understand what is really God's will. We believe God, and also we believe God is always taking care of us, helping us. He wants everyone to be saved. The salvation is given to us. We just only cooperate with God, with the salvation. Jesus Christ, He already showed us a good example. We just follow Him. Then we will have the kingdom of God. So the blessings also, God wants to give everyone that us can receive the blessing, the reward He wants to granted to us. So I hope we can really to let the Holy Spirit can guide us, let us more focus the things of heaven in doing the things for the kingdom of God and also to be really blessed in God's eyes. Amen. Please all rise, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. earth. Of, of all things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, believe I believe in one, in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, true God begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and of the life of the world to come. Amen. Conscious of God's blessings to us, let us raise our voices to our Heavenly Father as we pray for the needs of the whole church. Full of confidence, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For the shepherds of the church, 
May they put their hope in the Lord, who strengthens those who serve his people's integrity. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For those who aspire to hold public office in our country, may they have the wisdom, the courage, and the honesty to use their gifts and resources in the service of the country, especially for those poor and those powerless. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For those who are in the front line against the COVID-19 pandemic, may they find hope, affection, and assistance from the local authorities and their communities. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, O Lord. For our beloved dead, may God's mercy be upon them, that they may reach eternal life with him. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people who hope in your infinite mercy. May these petitions help us to see our blessedness above all material goods, car carriers, and all owners. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will, the source of eternal reward, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord of God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, 
but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his pasture, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose Cardinal Vencula, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, especially here, and also join in this Mass. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most sister spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially St. Jude Deus, with Anna Dianzen, Joseph Freinandmans, Pedro Caronso, as with the martyrs, Blessed Maria Helena and Josefa, Chinese martyrs, the 14 holy helpers, and all the saints who have pleased the youth of the ages. We may be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and all is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray you from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be, be with, with you. you.
Behold, this is Jesus Christ, our Savior. He is always among us, always taking care of us. He is the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes with the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Gentle reminders, please. Uh, during the communion, shall be done row by row. All shall form a single line on the designated aisles. Observe physical distancing strictly, as guided by the markers on the floor. Do not lower or remove your face mask as you receive the host in your hand from the priest or lay minister. Upon receiving the host, immediately step aside to your right or left accordingly to consume the host with reverence. Thank you for very much for your cooperation. For those who are unable to receive the communion, we pray the act of spiritual communion. May my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separate from you. Amen. They ate and had their fill, and what they craved, the Lord gave them. They were not disappointed in what they craved. Let us pray. <clears throat> Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel as we pray the Arasha Imperata against the COVID-19 virus. Merciful and compassionate Father, we, we confess open. our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection, protection. against the COVID-19 virus that the has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask, ask you now to look upon us with love and by, by your healing hand, dispel the, the fear of sickness and death, and death restore our hope and strengthen, and strengthen our faith. faith. We, we pray, pray that, that you guide, guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they, May they be restored, restored to help, protect, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give, give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in, in the unity, unity of, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit God, God forever and ever. And ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy, Holy Mother of God. Do, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of sick, pray for us. 
Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. The fourteen holy helpers. Pray for us. Saint Jude the Deus. Pray for us. Prayer of Saint Gertrude. Eternal Father, we, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses offered throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal Church, those in our homes and within our families. In Jesus' name, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you, and in His kindness pour out upon you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right, and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, mid coers with the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.